Hey guys, this is my beautiful cousin Harleen and today I'm going to be doing a sultry blush pink makeup look on her so let's just get started. So for moisturizer today I'm using the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion and I'm just evenly distributing that on her with a soft brush. And for primer I went in with my favorite the Cover FX Blurring Primer and I'm just putting that mostly in her T-zone. So I didn't show it but I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and I'm just putting that on her face and I'm using a Real Techniques brush to buff it in. So the lighting here makes it look really yellow but this is her shade I promise that's what we were laughing about and after I blended in with a beauty sponge it ended up looking really nice. And then for color corrector, I'm using an orange one by Lancome and I'm just dotting it under her eyes and then taking a small brush to buff that in. For her concealer, I used Tarte Shape Tape in medium and I put it under her eyes and on her forehead and chin. And then I go in with the shade Light Medium Honey which is a lot brighter and I use it to highlight those areas as well. And we decided we wanted a cream contour today so I went in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer because it's super creamy and blendable and this one's in the shade tan because it's going to be her contour shade and I just put it right above her cheekbones and on her temples and all along her jawline. And then I'm going to go over what I just did with a beauty sponge because I don't want there to be any harsh lines. And then to set the concealer, I'm going to take this Laura Mercier translucent powder and I took it on a brush and I'm just packing it under her eyes and on her eyes and I'm also going to set her chin and bake her smile lines. And after those baked, I dusted them away and then I'm going to be picking up this Mario Badescu rose water spray and spraying it on her face to melt in all of the powders. And then I'm just grabbing the KKW Beauty Contour and Highlight Kit and I'm using both of the contour shades to set the cream contour that we did earlier. And then for blush, I'm taking this Becca blush in the shade Songbird and I'm putting that right on the apples of her cheeks. And then for highlight, I went back into the KKW Beauty palette and I used that top left shade. It was a really pretty like champagne-y gold so I figured it would go really well with this look. For brows, I'm going in with the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal and I'm just brushing them upwards and then filling them in. And after that I went in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I tried to make really small hair like strokes to give the eyebrows some depth again. For most of this look I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going in with the shade MFEO to start off with and I'm just putting that all over her crease. After that, I'm going to be going in with the shade Pooter and I'm just putting that in her crease as well to deepen it up. And then I'm taking the shade Buns and I'm doing the same thing again because I want it to be even deeper than it already is. Yeah. 
and then to deepen it up even more i forgot to show it but i went in with a more red color called hunts And then I took the shade Jax, which is an even more red, like crimson type of color. And I added that to the outer V and the inner corner. And then I also went and put it on the top a little. So it looks like a half circle. I'm going to mix the shades Jax and Chip and I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did in the last step. And then you want to go in with a fluffy brush and blend it out really well because like I said you don't want any harsh lines but especially not on your eyeshadow. So then after this, I put some concealer on her eye off camera and then I went in with this glitter shade from the Huda Beauty palette and I put it over the concealer. It does look a little weird right now but we're going to keep adding colors around and make it look blended when we're done. And then I'm going to take Jax and Chip again and mix them and I'm going to put that right around that little half circle and blend that out. I decided with that glitter I wanted a little bit more pigmentation so I went in with my fingers and I'm just gonna keep repeating these steps until I'm happy with how the eyes look. After that I'm gonna take those same two colors again and I'm gonna put them on a thinner brush and I'm gonna put them right under her eyes. For mascara, I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic and just putting one thin layer and then I'm going to be popping on a pair of lashes. I lined her lips off camera and then I went in with Velvet Teddy by MAC for her lipstick. And for the finishing touches, I went in with some pinky nude lip gloss by Lipland. And this is the finished look right here. I absolutely love how it turned out and big thanks to my cousin Harleen for modeling for me. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!